This deck is called TLC for the Soul by Shana Lee Gibson. It's a 33 inspiring message of comfort. And this is what it looks like. On I'll, I'll take the plastic off first. And I just have to do that with a little knife. In the old days they used to have, like in the cigarette packets, that thing that you can just pull off and that turns around like that. Right. It's a beautiful fawny colour uh, deck with beautiful pictures of butterflies and like a cave with tulips of and ferns. It's beautiful. And this is what the back looks like. And the back says, 33 cards designed to encourage comfort and empower as you journey through the hurdles that arise from living designed as an invitation to reconnect with your higher power the divine source of soul it is nineteen dollars ninety nine and it's about as big as my hand and it has a magnetic strip and the incise wise and strangely practical the meaning the meanings then become mysteriously miraculous it's a beautiful box again beautifully pre uh, presented and dear friends and the publishers etc etc telephone number let's cut the plastic off again Dear friends, it is my great pleasure to share with you 33 message cards to help you cope better with the inevitable cha challenges of life, inspired by long periods of seclusion in prayer, contemplation and deep meditation. The messages are a series of restorative truth I reached by the grace of God while compelled to write them down on my own relationship with God was radically transformed I discovered how to co-create every day in unison with his divine guidance my hope is that you will use the cards as the way of starting a conversation with your own version of God or even just as means to pick up where you may have left off. May they help you pay attention to your thoughts, feelings, dreams, visions or knowings, all of which are a means through which God speaks to us. Such divine communication feels just right because it appeals to our sensibility and common sense wise and strangely practical this means they become mysteriously miraculous my suggestion when using the cards is to keep it simple be quiet formal be quite formal about it or make things up as you go along act from the heart and you can't go wrong Start with a prayer, sing a song, light a candle, light, lie on the grass, pet an animal, or ponder a favorite memory. Then select a card from the deck, contemplate its meaning, and joyously consider the symbolism in the lovely images of these cards. What works? What words speak to you? What do you feel as you look at the image? Listen within and do anything for ongoing clarity. In discerning your divine inner guidance from the usual wandering human mind. For helping you pay it forward, the cards make ideal gifts since they are eminent suited for random acts of kindness you could 
plant a single card in a random library book or books or give them to co-workers, family members and even to people at the grocery store. Best of all, carry them with you as a conversation starter with friends. Exquisite being, enjoy with all your heart and soul the sacred impressions you will receive from coming more closely with the divine through these tender loving care TLC for the soul messages love and lights yours Shana Lee I love that name beautiful name Shana Lee okay that is how it comes in and that's the backing and that is just a card with the copyrights and when it was published and by who and addresses okay we'll keep that and now about the artist there is no booklet so far as I know this is Shayna and that is the picture okay let's have a look about the artist Gina Scheifner blends photogra photography and digital art to create works that visually reshape reality connect with Gina through her websites and that is www.hankerings.com and about the author Shana Lee Gibson is a spiritual mentor inspirational figure and writer devoted to helping you live your God-given purpose by bringing attention to the still small voice within you through dynamic spiritual inquiry and guided meditation learn more on her website and that is www.shanaleegibson.com I'll leave all the information below that is Shana and that is the artist then a divine promise and that's the first card right um this is going to take some time because that means i'll have to read all the messages they're not numbered um they're not numbered but they're very solid stock so let's see how they feel when um and no not edged okay they are that's supposed to come out that's a good card to take a photo of and to say good night to you my cyber angels and friends on Facebook so we'll take this one sweet dreams cozy up to the moment and snuggle into it set down whatever needs setting down and enter a state of rele release through a snooze you may have been struggling to keep up with all that you've given yourself to do and nothing more can be done right now hand over the divine everything you have been mulling over in the state of deepest rest you may receive symbols from your soul that offer solutions to your quandaries and the very least you may find that your mind is clearer and your emotions calmer upon waking hence you may see that problems are sometimes best approached by leaving them an alone altogether give yourself permission to enter into the pleasantness of nap time and lovely dreams they remind me a bit of the postcards a postcard from heaven also uh, but these are pictures which I think is really sweet the postcards have sort of like drawn image but I, I think this is really nice okay then we have peaceful soul peaceful soul and I think it I'm going to try it out but I think you can use them uh, also for uh, Monday Wednesday Friday uh, and Saturday and Sunday to um, 
give you a sort of like a task or something that you can do on those days or an add on to a, s a reading right I'm going to go back to peaceful soul that's rather beautiful because that's the beach with a hangmat you could listen to the waves your soul is refuge of peace if sometimes if something is not in alignment with you ask ask yourself am I willing to accept what is being presented to me if that is not the case ask I am prepared to change what needs changing sometimes what shows up is not yours to heal it is often better to send up a prayer f for help to your divine friends always remember the gratitude for what you already have serves as the ultimate tonic for soothing your fearful heart then we have the fields of forgiveness the colors might not be true because I've got the sun blinds down as it is one of the hottest days in J Holland as you journey past resentment now and then stopping only to recognize its desolated surroundings decide you no longer want to linger on the bumpy road of disappointment and that's the is quote and then we go to the discipline uh, explanation a new way of living will emerge one that is full of surprises and perfectly timed synchronicities set your burdens down let go of what delays your progress and welcome in exchange the tender but stable roots of new beginnings enter the field of forgiveness where enchantment awaits you and that's what I mean by the quote the top bits and then the explanation as what you can do I've had to redo this because I wasn't happy with what I was doing <laughs> uh, I like to dot my eyes and cross my teeth a day away from it all gone fishing and then I have to listen to that that comes in and that's uh, Chris Rear gone fishing and that's what I get <laughs> uh, the cards are already working today is yours and tomorrow is coming as it will yesterday is complete with all its learning and lessons you can rest now and embody this moment's embrace feel yourself supported by it as you step away from your daily tasks give your full attention to your body mind and soul while infusing each moment with thoughtfulness around you and your true needs let your soul rest from the myriad of voices that are vying for your attention be still return to nature and share the silence like two old trusted friends who by just being together soothe each other's tired hearts renewed and and strengthened by your time away joy will return and with it the clarity and energy that is naturally within you healing through grace healing through grace do you need rest from physical or mental anguish respite is forthcoming an exhausted body frequently tries to persuade the mind to give up hope when faced with lengthy trials however the virtues that are already growing within your soul may still be hidden from your ordinary vision such qualities would be our perseverance tolerance and self-discipline there is always a purpose to your pain and an inner lessening of it will certainly happen but only if you are open to it 
when you finally yield to yourself sorry yield to self compassion by realizing dread you will be admitted into the divine's healing hands of grace speak it into being speak it into being in other words what you think say it out loud so that the angels and the divine can hear it speak words of jubilant affirmation into your life positive words in other words this is how you reset your mind you can create happiness through an inner state of mind first practice by repeating to yourself I accept good in every form or I am well loved or everything works out for me in planning your future start where you find yourself right now outer circumstances do not have to define you experienced with how different thoughts affect your well-being dismiss words that amplify suffering and misfortune cast aside the illusion of fate the belief that your life is predetermined if you do so you are no longer living in what could have been but rather you are entering into the possibilities of what you can become laugh it out laugh it out and I get the saying or the cliche cry and you cry alone laugh and the world laughs with you laughter untangles the knot of difficulties before despair can settle in even serious situations are under divine management to laugh it to feel good again by accepting the mysterious way of things ease up in order to gain a fresh perspective no matter how it looks know this everything is as it should be the divine has assigned a spiritual guardian to watch over you beautiful color and the picture just fades away here like in all of them at the bottom enter the flow enter the flow and the stock of these cards are really superior they're really great to shuffle I'll show you in a minute there are myriads of opinions available to you even if you feel rushed to act fast you'll be better able to make a long-lasting and confident decision by healing the voice of your soul you can either step back and wait inquire and consider or meditate and pray or you can push ahead in harried hopes that it will all work out things do tend to come together in the end but to avoid a dramatic situation that later requires unraveling look at all your choices then exercise the many different ways you can express yourself feel how liberating it is to make a new choice and to sell past ingrained habitual responses instead of reacting once you've made an intentional choice lie back and be carried by the winds of flow in your greatest hope for direction now I'll just show you because I've got a few they're really great they're matte finish and you can just hear the stock it's really hard they're quite thick they're not edged um, and they're so simple in simplest simplicity can be so beautifully beautiful a divine promise like this is I will say be the beacon yes love it when storms happen and tests appear and you are caught unaware know that you are fully equipped to handle them you are at the mercy of outside forces even as your sense of self is threatened and you want to give up turn toward the light it will shine out of you in a way you 
le least expected, knowledge will spill forth and wisdom will arise and reveal a pathway ahead. Hold steady and aim toward the truth of your being. Doubt can no longer keep you from reaching your highest destination. Take hold of your inherent holiness, even if you feel uneasy at first, and feel strengthened by knowing now that a love greater than all this world is living through you. That's deep. So I've closed the window now and look I'm sorry about that okay now it's peaceful and now we're going on to provision and I love the photography on it because it it, it gives you the romantic ooze or the ah of England really like the lighthouse and the the fields and the rivers you can well if you've lived in England then you understand and the rose garden picture okay and it says provision provision and what I will do is I will read the little um, quote here but I will leave the explanation because I would like to keep something mysterious for the ones that are going to receive this deck otherwise it won't feel new anymore hidden within your soul are tiny thoughts seeds that given the t right care can sprout into newly found abundance. Then we have surrender. Surrender. Again that misty look at the bottom. L lift it all up and out of you. Decide to no longer be the bearer of pain and separation. And the cards all have a different color. Then we've got a card with a rainbow. A purpose for all things. A purpose for all things. Trying to find the purpose, I suppose. Life is a mystery, mysterious progression of individual evolution. I also love the language, it's very rich. Always accompanied, and this is my favorite card in the deck, because this, this is the second time I'm doing it. <laughs> ah, I love dragonflies, they're so like fairies and angels. And this is the tree, um, the Chinese cherry tree. It's beautiful. Do you know that you are loved by a benevolent source, one who knows you and cares for you without reservation? The messages or the explanations underneath the quote are quite extensive on some. In the name of love, in the name of love. Your sacred calling leaves the impression of your soul on those you come across. Sing your song, and this is so beautiful as well. And the simplicity, again, that comes out, it just jumps out at you. It brings the peacefulness and the restfulness, the tranquility. Transform your worries into love notes for your divine friend to offer to the world. Seen in your unique way. Seen in your unique way. Wow, that hits home because I keep on telling all my cyber angels, you are unique. Don't look at the outside. Just look at your inside. You are unique. Everyone is unique. Exquisite being, you have captured the heart of the divine. But what worldly standard are you holding yourself to? In other words, do you love yourself or not? Enough? Or if at all? 
then we have helpers. Listen to the call of spirit leading you to a new way. Your soul story, your soul story, step by step, and when I see the stones crossing boundaries, oh, I just love this rose garden. <coughs> Excuse me. True love, yes, and this is magical because this is black swans. They're more unusual than the white swans, and swans stay together in for life. Providence will deliver you again and again to kindred souls. Seek understanding. Seek understanding. Now what I'm also seeing with these cards is colours. Vibrant colours. Um, when you pull a card, whether it's from a reader, um, you can use the colour. Uh, you can load down and go to Pinterest and find the card perhaps and print it out and carry it with you or set it be in a sacred place in your house. Seek understanding. Words may be used by you as a calming balm in the face of antagonism. Look at that. The language is beautiful. Rising higher. <coughs> Rising higher. I see lots more in these pictures because like the balloon you're above problems because you're going with the balloon over the mountains. Notice guilt when it arises but see it only as a warning sign. So this oracle deck has its saying and its meanings or quotes and meanings but the color you you when you've got purple you know it is spiritual it's for your higher self pink for love green for healing beautiful the long way around the long way around don't take shortcuts are you worried that by going at your own pace you won't realize your heart's yearning. Destiny delivers. Destiny delivers. What you uh, what you see is only part of the story that is unfolding. nourishment nourishment and you see this picture perhaps you are pondering about what to do with a friend or a partner go out for a picnic surprise them at home on the inside at home on the inside now what does that mean to you at home on the inside is that your inside or are you feeling at home in your own house? Inside you is a flame of light that remains unwavering during life, life's challenges and experiences. Inner gifts, inner gifts. Talents you may have overlooked are in the process of being uncovered. Willingness to grow. Willingness to grow. Outer voices declare don't leap, hold back, wait. Life's little luxuries life's little luxuries ah the call of duty seems endless self-believing and beyond 
self-believing and beyond. Castles in the sky, dreams can hang in the balance, sometimes dangling on barely a thread. Curious wrist, curious wrist. Whether it's the wind windiest of days or the quietest of days, a little dose of curiosity will go a long way to brighten it up. Dig deep. Dig deep. What once seemed to seem so right can suddenly feel strange. <coughs> Sorry. Carry on. Carry on. Keep following the course you've set for yourself. Seasons, seasons, and that is the last card. Letting go is liberating, but if you continue to resist by hanging on, you will be prolong your grief and stifle your progress. I love this deck, I really do. It's voluptuous in language, in quality of the cards. Um, it is simple, but you can see so much uh, in this deck, and personally, uh, I see lots more in pictures, and it starts, the energy starts to stream again. You can just feel it. You can just feel it. I hope you have enjoyed this review, and I will leave all the details below so that you know where you can find it and order it. It is lovely to give a card away to friends. You can use them, carry a card for the day, pull a card, leave it out in your sacred space, or, uh, well, I have, and burn a candle and uh, enhance the energy with meditation. Or just sitting quietly with the card next to you, or holding it and feeling its energy. I hope you've enjoyed the review and the cards. Take care and be blessed. And please share and like. Thank you.